my experiment and my research was based upon ketchup. So I want to do this little intro video to begin. Did run at different speeds. The path, the 
what the pads looked like. Some of them were more watery looking. Some of them were thicker. You could actually see the ketchup and the, I guess, the plop disintegrating as it came down, which meant it would start really big at the top, and then by the time it got down to the bottom after 30 seconds, it was very small. And this is what we're talking about. Notice the plop sizes between the hunts and the hinds and the path differences. So analysis, analysis and sorting data. Just at first glance, these were just each individual runs, and you can see the big, oh, sorry. Now I'm doing good. There we go. You can see the differences on the runs. The hunts pretty much were the longest runs. I mean, the hunts were pretty much the shortest runs. The hinds were the longest runs. The mean distances. And here's my analysis. I used a one-way ANOVA test. And if the F value is greater than the F-critical value, then that tells me that there is a significant difference. I ran F-tests to determine if these were equal to 1, then there would have been no uh, significant difference. So my P-levels were almost at zero. So this told me that I could reject the null, uh, that there were no differences. There were definitely differences in the length of the runs. As far as reliability factors and variables, I had three main ones. First of all was the timing. Raising the glass up and trying to hit my timer was a difficult issue sometimes because the glass I certainly didn't want to shatter. Uh, the angle of the glass, as I raise it up, of course the ketchup is starting to run as it's coming down before I hit that 45 degree angle. So that could have affected it. And another factor would be measurement. I could have made a mistake as I was plunging the ketchup out of my syringe or even making an error in measuring the length of the run. But in the end, I was able to reject the all. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, it might make a difference, but after you did each ketchup run, uh -huh. I was, you cleaned the mirror. Absolutely. Do you think your cleaner and like the way you wiped your mirror might have made a difference? No, I tried to alternate ends because it was such a long piece of glass. As I rinsed it off and dried it, I didn't want any moisture left. So my next run, I would use the other end of the glass. And that gave the other end time to totally dry out because I didn't want moisture and water to be a factor. So what's your recommendation? Which one do you felt was the biggest? I think it's a misconception that how fast it comes out of the bottle makes it thicker, I think it's the plop disintegration. Yes. I think the ketchup in the bottle hanging together, the hinds sticking together, the solid plop running, running down, I think that tells me that hinds is the thickest, not because it comes out faster or moves faster, it has to do with that plop staying together. Did you clean the glass before you did the first Yes, okay. I wanted consistency on the glass itself. I thought of that moisture factor. I knew that would that could affect it. I knew Courtney had asked, but I wasn't sure if she if she mentioned that you cleaned it first because like it was the what was the first one you tested? Hines. Uh, Hines. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, if she didn't clean the first one, then it could well, be see, sticky. See, I ran twenty trials with each ketchup, not oh. just the four. I just video. I did them in sets of four, and I spaced my clocks out. But I ran five test on Heinz with four plots each. Mm -hmm. So I had 20 total for each range. That took a while. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Thickness is equivalent to viscosity. Viscosity. I don't, I'm not a science person, but I've heard viscosity. I'm not a science person. I would say viscosity is probably a good word for it. And I'm not a science person, but the very last thing it is. Yeah. Uh, you said there was a significant difference. Do you know which one was significant to the other? I think Heinz was more significant to hunts. Mm -hmm. okay. To hunts. I mean, that's what the data looked like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if you yeah. look at the means, there was a great difference between Heinz and hunts. Wait, what was your F value? Your, your critical? My F critical is 4.193. So if you remember, you I mean, enlarged that for us. So if your numbers are bigger than that F value, then if my F value is larger than my F critical, 
then I can reject the knowledge. There's a significant difference. That value is right next to the level of the key value. It's actually, oh. Okay, so, I was confused. I thought she was talking about those values. I was like, none of them are figured. These values you don't want to be one because it's a test of the ratios of the variances, and you don't want those to be an even one, which would mean that the ratios were similar and exact. So you don't want those to equal one. Okay. 